Hey guys, it's Megan. So as some of you may know, I recently went through my craft room again and I realized that I have an insane amount of beads. I have been super into jewelry making this year, but going through my stash got me thinking, what else could I make with these? So in this video, I'll be showing you a few projects that you can make with beads that are not jewelry. You guys know how I feel about long intros, so let's just get into it. The first project I made were these beaded headbands. For this project, I used some 8mm beads, thin metal headbands, and some thin wire. I think mine was 28 gauge, but as long as it fits through your beads, you'll be okay. Start by taking a piece of wire that's about 30 inches long, and wrap one end around your headband. I put the wire about an inch and a half above the bottom of the headband, so there wouldn't be beads behind my ears. Go ahead and string the beads onto your wire, leaving an inch and a half on the other side of the headband. Wrap the wire around three or four times to secure it. Then take the remaining wire and wrap it between each bead. This is what will actually hold the beads onto the headband. Just keep wrapping the wire around until you come back to where we started. Bring the wire up and in between each bead. And the thinner that your wire is, the less noticeable it'll be. Wrap the wire around two or three times at the end and cut off any excess. I used pliers to flatten the wire to make sure that it wasn't going to poke me whenever I tried to wear it. And that was it. So here's how the finished headbands turned out. I was a little bit worried about the wire getting stuck in my hair, but surprisingly that wasn't a problem at all. It didn't even get stuck a little bit, like I was honestly shocked. But if you're worried about it, you can hot glue some ribbon underneath to cover it up. I made a pearl headband and a couple with these crystal beads. If you want to make a thicker headband, I've seen people cover them with ribbon and sew the beads on. Or if you don't have a headband to use as a base, you could string some beads and tie them onto a hair tie like this. I used a similar wire wrapping process to make these beaded bobby pins. For this one, I used some 4mm beads, 28 gauge wire, and bobby pins. Cut a piece of wire that's about 5 or 6 inches long. Bring the end of the wire through the bobby pin and twist it together like this. Here's what it should look like so far. Then start stringing on your beads. I found that 10 or 11 of these 4mm beads work the best, but if your beads are bigger, you might need less of them. Fold the wire back over the bumpy part of the bobby pin, then wrap the end around it. And just like on the headband, we're going to bring the wire back through, wrapping it in between each bead until we get back to the beginning. Wrap the wire around the end a few more times to secure it, cut off the excess, and flatten any sharp points with your pliers. And here's how the bobby pins turned out. I really like these, they're a nice subtle way to add a little something extra to your hair. I saw someone make these shoe charms on TikTok and I was like, yes, I need this. Like, I don't know why, I just think that these are so cute. For this project, you'll need four of these clasps. I think they're supposed to be for keychains, I have no idea what size they are, but as long as they can fit around your laces, you're good. You'll also need some non-stretchy string and your beads. First, tie a piece of string to one of the clasps. I like to do about three or four knots just to make sure that it's extra secure. Then start stringing on your beads. I used a whole big mix of beads for this one. We have pearl beads, pony beads, stars, hearts, it kind of looks like it was made by a kindergartner, but I love it. The beads are all super random, but I stuck to purple and white to give it a more cohesive look. How long you make this will depend on your shoe size, so just string on your beads until they can wrap around the back of your shoe. Then tie on the second clasp. And once that's done, you can just clip it onto your shoelaces like this. I love how they look on my Doc Martens but any boots or sneakers with laces would work. I've also seen people make these to go on like the front of their Crocs. And honestly, like I'm just obsessed with these. I think that this is a lot better than putting beads on your actual laces since it's really quick to just put it on and take it off. And you can make them in a whole bunch of different colors to match different outfits. Okay, so here's how I would wear these. I have my Doc Martens with the shoe charms, black pants from Hollister that are a little bit cropped, a white tank top, and a purple sweater from Target. And I also made a matching necklace to go with it. Honestly, I just needed an excuse to wear something other than pajamas, so yeah, um, anyways. Another super easy way to use up your beads is to make a keychain. For this project, I just used a keychain, waxed cotton cord, and some beads. I used some waxed cotton cord that I had left over from making my Pura Vita style bracelets. I burned the ends of my string so it wouldn't fray, tied it to my keychain a few times, then strung on my beads. I was really feeling the whole trendy, mismatched bead thing in this video, so I made this simple wrist strap. I like to use string that's not stretchy for these. I tried using stretchy string the first time that I made one of the phone straps, and it did not work out. Although, by the way, that is another thing that you can make with beads. I made the beads about 10 inches long, then tied the end of the string to the keychain a few times, melting the knot with a lighter. There are definitely other options for making keychains as well. 
You could make those pony bead animal keychains like how people used to make at summer camp as a kid, or you could make a fidget keychain using the same process that I used for this fidget bracelet that I made. Just take a piece of string, fold it in half, and tape it to the table. Bring the left string through the bead, and then the right, and pull both strings until the bead reaches the top. For a keychain, I used six beads, and added a charm that I 3D printed. Tie the ends of the string together, leaving a bit extra so the beads can slide. You can tie this onto a keychain, but I just looped mine around my phone case. The last project that I made were these task bracelets. Even though these are technically bracelets, I still wanted to include them because they're not just bracelets, they like actually have a purpose. The idea behind these is that it's like having a to-do list on your wrist. When you finish a task, you can just take off the bracelet. This is a great way to use up extra letter beads. Besides that, I used some stretchy string, pony beads, and some charms, which are optional. First, I took a strip of paper and wrapped it around my wrist to see how long my bracelet needed to be. I cut the paper slightly longer than I needed because I wanted these bracelets to be loose enough to stack. And you kind of want them to be like slightly annoying so that you don't forget to do whatever task is written on them. I use my letter beads to spell out a few tasks that I need to do regularly, but not necessarily every day. So for mine, I had dishes, water, which means cleaning out my pet's electric water dishes, trash, vacuuming, laundry, and cat box, which I clean those every day, but the bracelet is to remind me to like scrub out the box and replace the litter in it. I picked out a charm to go with each task. Honestly, just because I had them, and again, you want these to be a little bit annoying so that you're motivated to actually do the task and take off the bracelet. For the actual bracelet part, I tied a knot at the end of my string, taped it to my work surface, and started stringing on my beads. I used the paper template that we made as a guide. I put on pony beads until I got to the middle of the paper, then added my letter beads and my charm. I continued with the pony beads until it was long enough, and tied about six knots at the end to make sure that it was secure. I cut off the excess, and that was it! I repeated this process for each bracelet. If you don't have letter beads or charms, you can make a charm by writing your task on a shrinky dink instead. So the way that you use these is that you pick out what you need to do, put the bracelet on, and each time you complete a task, you get to take off the bracelet. Now, will I use these? Um, I don't actually know. I'll have to update you guys, but I thought that it was a neat idea. So that was everything for this video. Make sure to let me know which project was your favorite. I think mine was the headbands. I'm still not sure how I feel about the middle part, but it's kind of growing on me, I don't know. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos just like this one. My merch, my website, and all of my social media will be linked down below. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you guys later. Bye!